The judge has just ordered former Vice President Mike Pence to testify before a federal grand jury. That is related to the special counsel's January 6th investigation. Let's get straight to our reporter, CNN's Caitlin Polans. Uh, Caitlin, what more do we know? Well, I'm just learning from a source uh, that Mike Pence, the former vice president, does have to testify to the grand jury investigating January 6th, that federal grand jury in Washington, D.C. Not only does he have to testify, but he will have to testify about conversations he had with Donald Trump himself leading up to January 6th. So that crucial piece of information that the Justice Department has sought and that Pence has sort of divulged uh, in his public speeches and in his book previously, but that the grand jury has not heard about yet. The conversations before January 6th when Donald Trump and Mike Pence were on the phone one on one and Donald Trump apparently was berating him, calling him names, that sort of thing in this criminal investigation. He is going to have to share that. Now, we have confirmed, too, that this ruling came down yesterday in the D.C. District Court from the new chief judge, Jeb Boesberg. He also shot down Donald Trump's arguments that the conversation should be protected because of presidential secrecy, executive privilege. So Trump lost in this court fight. Uh, and Pence does have to testify about some of these things. But Pence also got a little bit of a win himself in that this judge decided that Mike Pence as the vice president should have some protection about his around his work on January 6th when he says he was operating as somebody as part of Congress as the vice president, the presiding officer over the Senate. So he doesn't necessarily have to testify about what happened on January 6th itself, but those crucial questions about what happened before that date and what happened between him and Trump, this judge says he 